Hello and greetings from the Millennium Project in Washington, D.C. It's a global think tank with 35 nodes around the world. One of those nodes is headed by Frank Catanzaro, who is the chair for the cyber node of the Millennium Project. And he is putting together a collective intelligence system for the first, as far as we know, for the first uh, global climate change situation room on the planet. Uh, if you try to imagine where you would go to get the overall situation of climate change, where would you go? You go to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, but that's a research organization. doesn't necessarily do what are the laws, what's the state of governments uh, doing, uh, their targets. Uh, and what's the overall situation, and how do you manage that whole situation? There are uh, a variety of websites that we have put on a, our climate change situation room website, about 10 or so or 12 of them that are related, but none of them quite bring it together as a management system. And we hope that you will be involved uh, in using this system, contributing to it, as well as using it, as a unique uh, global uh, knowledge collaboration system for climate change so that we humans together can work on this problem. Good luck with your conference, and uh, best regards from Washington. And now Frank will tell you how you can become involved. Hi, my name is Frank Catanzaro. I'm a chair of the Millennium Project Cybernode, and I'll be giving you a brief overview of the uh, state of the beta site for the Global Climate Change Situation Room in Korea. Uh, this is planned to be a network of sites, all interlinked through uh, the um, current state of the art of uh, what we call web services. This allows sites to communicate automatically in the background, exchanging significant amounts of information based on the needs of uh, and queries uh, of individual users at different sites around the world. So uh, that is the first step towards uh, sort of a, a collective intelligence or a, a new approach to um, distributing uh, uh, information uh, through the web. Um, briefly, you're looking at the front page. Uh, it's uh, still a beta of the uh, uh, Global Climate Change Situation Room in Korea. Um, there's a couple of test blocks. Uh, uh, basically, you can rearrange this page uh, to individualize your own um, uh, installation. Uh, and it, of course, is localized to your uh, needs and scanners. Um, quick note on the block here, this uh, climate change dashboard, uh, it shows us uh, 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 similar um, uh, readings for all levels. It's still uh, being worked on. And when it's finished, it will basically give a readout of the current state of the environment. Or uh, locally, uh, you might have your own variables you wish to uh, highlight on the site. Um, one of the main um, features of this site is the news aggregator. Uh, this site locally uh, works through uh, what's called uh, environmental scanning. It's a futures methodology used um, that hi uh, brings together uh, people and uh, information on the web and other ways. Uh, and a scanner has a skill set to recognize something that might be important in the future. Uh, we have provided tools to um, augment that ability. Uh, one is the main feeds area. This will be populated right now. There's four RSS feeds, uh, not a lot. Uh, it's soon to be uh, quite a few hundred um, of relevant sites. The, now, uh, collecting and aggregating these sites in one place um, will provide a significant advantage to the individual scanner. He does, that's that many sites less that he has to go out on the web to uh, uh, you know uh, surf and uh, scan. So um, you can do a quick search of the, these sites, these feeds. Uh, you can get a channel to collect information. Um, uh, you say there's a uh, particularly good set of uh, feeds coming in on biofuels or algae. Uh, you can have a channel that's dedicated to that. You can have also a saved search that is dedicated to uh, a particular uh, interest. Um, down here, uh, you can view these uh, in uh, short teaser form, as a list form, uh, or in an interesting way, uh, distributed globally 
um, to see the source of the input, um, the uh, size uh, and the um, location are uh, indicate uh, the source of the articles and the news. And here it shows uh, by hovering and clicking on one of the, the uh, points, uh, it shows a number of articles generated by that uh, location and a brief introduction. You can click through to that article by uh, clicking here. Um, I won't do that because it will navigate away from the site right now. Uh, we close that. And uh, so that's briefly some of the tool sets that will augment uh, the uh, uh, productivity of the scanners quite a bit. Um, we have collective intelligence tools uh, that are still being uh, developed. Um, a real-time Delphi that allows for uh, um, sort of a uh, questionnaire of experts um, in a, a real-time way uh, to answer questions and uh, get a feedback of uh, immediate uh, sort of opinion on um, different issues. Uh, there's a uh, the heart of the collective intelligence component. The uh, collective intelligence wiki um, is being worked on in uh, California by Jack Park, and it will provide a uh, a hub that interlinks a lot of the uh, different sites around the world to uh, automatically exchange information, uh, let you uh, be up to date and uh, automatically access any discussions that uh, might be relevant. Uh, so the main uh, component of this site uh, really is the scanning head. Uh, it's a group of people locally who go out, they surf the web, they uh, search the aggregator uh, tab here to save time and productivity and uh, the items they find that they feel are of importance um, they uh, select very easily using what's called a bookmarklet. The bookmarklet uh, down here you can see you click on it you drag the bookmarklet up to your favorites bar uh, or whatever browser you're using uh, it then gives you a name to uh, uh, give the bookmark uh, I have already placed it here, and uh, we call it the uh, GCCSR BM bookmarklet. So I'll cancel this. But you can see installing the bookmarklet is a very simple, straightforward thing to do. And uh, for uh, all you do uh, is uh, install it once. And wherever you browse, say you browse to the IPCC uh, panel on uh, climate change. Uh, and uh, there's an item here the uh, synthesis report, which you feel really needs to be posted on the uh, GCCSR. You just highlight the text you want and uh, click the bookmark that you created. And it instantly captures the title, the uh, text you highlighted, uh, gives you a chance to uh, rate it. Let's say this is strategic. Um, and then uh, uh, if it's important enough, you can also promote it to the front page of your site. Um, and then save it. I won't save it because uh, it's uh, you know uh, an example. Um, so that's the bookmarklet, and uh, these are some of the tools uh, that um, the uh, climate change uh, situation room are starting to work on to link sites around the world in a new semi-automated way to increase productivity, to increase collective intelligence, and uh, inform dialogue. Uh, between experts. Thank you. I hope this uh, was uh, uh, informative. And um, any uh, follow-up or uh, interest you might have, uh, feel free to contact the Millennium Project or myself at uh, uh, frank at arcturus.org. Thank you very much.